So I started by draining the oil out of the engine. Now we've got eight three-eighths bolts to take off the side cover. All right, and here is our governor right here. Now that we've got the side cover off, all we have to do is take this gear off and that's it. Uh, put a new seal on the cover and put it back on. One thing to watch out for, there is a washer that goes on the slot for the cam here. As you can see, you, you couldn't really see it. So just be mindful that that's there. I've seen a couple people taking these off in different ways. And the person I saw get it off the easiest, seemed the easiest, was using the claw from a hammer. But I'm going to try something that I do with the predators when the retaining clip is a little uh, stubborn. Because there is a lip here on this shaft that's holding this in. And I've pried on it a little bit and it's not coming off very easy. So I'm just going to try to cut the gear in half with a screwdriver and a hammer. Uh, main thing you want to make sure is that you don't mar up any of the surfaces so you get a good seal when you put the cover back on. Now, that's not the most delicate process or way to get it off, but it got it off. Just be careful you don't punch a hole through your side cover, but that's all it takes. So we'll get this gasket surface cleaned off and get some RTV on it. And one thing you do have to do is add a spring to the governor arm here. Just attach it somewhere over here. It'll allow the engine to return to idle. Otherwise, it'll stick wide open. <laughs> 